Welcome, everyone, to the college football playoff. The entire regular season has built up to this. Twelve teams still in the running with championship dreams alive as we begin this first-round game in an on-campus setting. The kickoff team is out there, and here we go. The college football playoff about to get underway. So no return here. He takes a knee in the end zone, and they'll begin the drive at the 25. Okay, now we'll get our first look at this offense here today. We'll see if this quarterback can get off to a great start, Kirk. So much for this offense and this whole team, really, orbits around him. Yes, sir. The de facto Mr. Center of the Universe. It's his world when he's out there, and it's up to him to create and orchestrate the details on the field. His team, his way. Can't wait to see what he does today. Chris, I know it's the first play of the game, but boy, nice job by this offensive line. The back gets behind him, picks up some positive yards. Off play action, he's looking to throw. And he pulls in the catch. Heads out of bounds after a solid game, more than enough to pick up a first down. So the offense with the first and ten now, the football placed exactly at midfield. That's reeled in. It's McGull again. The quarterback looks downfield to make this throw. He wants to be able to get the ball to be able to pick up enough yards for a first down. But instead, gets the ball at least underneath to the drag route and gets some positive yards. Second down, we're going to throw it. And he dumps it off to the tight end. And the defense grabs him after the completion. He's just short of a first down. Offense breaks a huddle and gets set. It's third down. They'll try to run for the first down. And this one goes nowhere. Lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. Well, that's an excellent effort here by this defense, staying in their run fits. they holding their own at the line and making the tackle. The offense just couldn't get enough of a push to get anything going there. The game picks up the first down, tackled at the 37. What a job by this offense picking up the first down. It was a play caller. You look at where you are in the field. If you punt it, there's a chance it goes into the end zone for a touchback. If you kick the field goal, it's a really long kick. So this is a great opportunity to be aggressive, pull the trigger, to try to come up with a big play. They get it, keep the drive alive, and now they can get a touchdown. Throws a bullet to the right. And the pass is dropped. Incomplete would have had a huge gain. Took his eye off the ball. Here comes the eighth play of the opening drive, but now it's third down. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. Using his legs here. Slides to avoid the big hit. Well, they did a good job of getting pressure on the quarterback, but man, make the play. Bring him down. Instead, they give up positive yards here on the scramble. There's a shot toward the end zone. Oh, and a chance at an interception in the end zone. Could not quite hold on to the ball. It's going to be second down. Second down play coming up for this offense. And he drops back in the gun. And this one is caught. They bring him down just short of the marker. Inches away from a first down. So here we go. Third down in the red zone. The kind of play that decides football games. And they've got him, but there's also a flag on the play. Holy, 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 open, open. See if the offense can overcome that holding penalty. Can they keep the opening drive alive? In the 11th play, it's third and long. Bringing pressure. And the senior making a disruptive impact play. So on fourth down, the decision is to trot out the field goal team. Long enough and good. It breaks the scoreless tie here, makes it 3 0. They come away with three points on the drive, and now the kickoff team will boot it away. Oh, Chris, it's a nice kick here to polish off that drive with at least three points up on the board. And they stop him at the 23. That's solid coverage. So Tulane's offense makes their way onto the field for their first possession. Well, it's not easy to narrow down the impact players to just a few guys, Kurt. But what do you expect from them today? Well, we got guys that can make plays as well as anybody in the country on both sides of the ball. That's why I think this matchup is so exciting. Two good teams with great individual players. A sack in the play could not escape the pass rush. Second and long in the 14. Quarterback sets up, looking for an open man. Receiver makes the grab, and they get him down after the completion. 
Well, a serious challenge for this offense. You don't want to be in third and long inside your own 20. How much of a risk will they take to try to pick up this first down? Running out of time in the pocket. Quarterback finds a target on the right. It's complete. He's stuck short of the marker, so it's fourth down now. Punt team ready to boot it away. Looking to flip the field here. He's got some daylight turning on the speed. They finally get him down, but that's a solid return. Good work by the return man. And now the first play of this drive is set up at the 37. Ball handed off. Tackled, but only after picking up a fresh set of downs. Every now and then, we see a really good run. We tend to focus on what other people did in order for that run to happen, what the offensive line did. Maybe the receivers are blocking good on the edge. Sometimes, the running back is pretty good, too. And on that play, he picked up a lot of yards and made that happen with good effort. Quarterback looking to throw it on second down. He eludes the rush. He'll avoid the tackle there with a slide. Chris, watch him work through his progressions here. Finds the first and the second option aren't there. By the third option, he's got to pull it down and try to pick up some positive yards, of which he did, and then he slides down to avoid the big hit. Bit too far away to trust a field goal attempt. The offense on the field on fourth down. They'll run it here. Breaks the tackle, gets into the clear. Moves the football to the 30. Good enough for a first down. On the ready. A running play gives the offense a fresh set of downs. Looking to throw it on first down. And they heave it deep downfield. That's just nice execution. Quarterback and receiver Kirk perfectly in sync that time. Yeah, you can see why route running is one of the most underrated attributes of a receiver. It's easy to get caught up on their ability to catch or their vertical or their speed. But nothing substitutes for someone who can create separation like this before the ball's even thrown. And he'll bring it out from inside the 10. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And here comes the Green Wave offense back on the field. Last time was a quick three and out. And they get a drive going this time. Off the play fake, looking to throw on first down. And he's got it. Oh, and nothing but green grass ahead. The 30. Past the 20. Touchdown, green wave. No chance to catch him. That kind of play is almost impossible to defend. When the quarterback is throwing the ball with that kind of accuracy and timing, and the receiver runs a route like this, good luck trying to stop it. So maybe this is a great start for this combination, this quarterback and receiver, for a big day. Kicking team out for the PAT try. The extra point is good. They trail by three now, 10-7. Getting set to kick the ball off now. Returner decides to field it. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. Offense, cross out on the field, hoping to start a drive here. Really excellent possession last time. The mix, the run, and the pass kept the defense off balance and route to a touchdown. Here's the first play of the drive now to begin at the 19. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. The defense coordinator this week, all week telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. Moves the ball out across the 30. That's good for a first down. The offense will line up. Chance for a couple more plays before the end of the quarter. On first and 10, they'll look to throw it. And they'll loft this one deep to the left side. Tried to press the ball deep, but it's incomplete. Well, it's an incompletion here. And I bet this secondary is going to play a little bit deeper just to make sure they don't get hit on any deep throws later in this game. Quarterback wants to throw it on second down. 
Fires it to the wideout. And the pass is intercepted as he throws into double coverage that time. And he'll be taken down, but after a good return. a solid game. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think, are they going to run? Maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. They bring him down at the seven. The offense set up now with a first and goal. The defense backed up against their own end zone. First and goal, they'll try to run it in. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Chris, I think we all kind of get caught up in third down. What, what's an offense doing in third down? But I think what's also important is how well you defend first down. If you can hold your opponents to a short gain or intercepted in the end zone. And he's wrapped up after a solid return. When you get this close to the end zone, you've got to be able to come away with points, at the very least, a field goal. They've got to be scratching their heads and hoping that in the second half, this play right here doesn't come back to bite them. Bang. Offense makes its way on the field, ready to start the drive. And here's the handoff. The gain is three yards. Brings up a second down and seven. Hey, listen, you don't always have to have big plays to be successful. It's a nice, solid gain here. Keeps you on schedule, and you get ready for that next play. Junior steps up and makes an impact play. A really good job by this defense. The quarterback looked to be trying to work through his progressions to find his open receiver, but before he knew it, he's on his back. Looking for a deep completion. The catch is made for a huge pickup. Breaks into the clear. It's a sprint. Well, a touchdown to a wide open man. For what in the world was going on the defensive side of him? Wow, what was the defense thinking here? You can't let a player roam free like that. They just completely forgot about him and gifted him a touchdown. Extra point try coming now. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. Here's the kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner opportunity to bring this back. And he'll lead the kickoff right there. They start from the 25. And the Tulane offense is back out on the field now. That costly red zone interception the last time out. Let's see if they can recover from that error. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. That one takes it across the 30-yard line. The game makes it second and medium. Movement at the second level of the defense now. We're back looking to pass here on second down. Short throw to the back, caught behind the line of scrimmage. Crucial third down play right here. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. And the ball is picked off. You bring him down after a short return, but the takeaway sets up the offense near midfield. I'm going to give the defensive coordinator a tip of the cap here. They went with dime coverage with six defensive backs, which gives them a lot more speed on the field. And with those defensive backs, they're able to play better in space. They recognize the ball, step in front of it for a nice interception. The Big guys up front lined up. It's first down. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He's got his man wide open. 
And he finally steps out of bounds after a huge gain. It'll be first down and goal. So that huge gain quickly sets up a first and goal just inside the 10. From the shotgun, he's probing the secondary. Caught near the goal line. Fighting for the end zone, but doesn't get there. They'll spot the ball at the three. This is an example of a quarterback and his offense just taking what the defense gives you. Not a huge play, but positive yards. The defense wants to give that throw to you. You take it, get the ball to your receiver, stay ahead of the sticks. Ah, the hammer. Second down and goal. Who better than the big fullback to get behind that big bruising offensive line? Old school touchdown for this offense. BAT puts them up 17 now. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. So a touchback will start at the 25. And here comes the Green Wave offense back on the field. The last possession ended in an interception. Let's see if they continue to trust this quarterback in the passing game. Breaking free at the 35. Oh, and he breaks free. It's a foot race. The 10 takes it all the way to the house. Touchdown to Lane. Oh, my. What a great play call here by the offensive coordinator. The running back received some great blocking up front and just took off with it, carving up this defense all the way to the end zone. The turn begins inside the 10. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. And the offense trots back out on the field again. A little bit of my turn, your turn in the early going here. Both offenses scoring touchdowns, their last possession. Solid gain there. Moves the ball out to the 32. Look, I realize on any play call when it's properly executed, it can go to the house for a touchdown. But the runs that really make a game plan work are the ones where you get just what you need. And he barely got the first down, but he got it. We've reached the two-minute warning here. Let's see if this offense can build on this big lead before halftime. Here's the second down play. Here's the snap. Quarterback drops back. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. A new set of downs after that completion. On first and ten here, looking to throw the ball. Looking for the wide out. Wow, lays out and makes a spectacular catch. Offense keeps moving. It's a completion for a first down. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun. And he's looking to make a big play downfield. And this is dropped. Would have been a huge game, but he could not collect it. So second down after the incompletion. Looking to throw again. Running back has it on a screen now. And they wrap him up after the completion just short of the first down mark. Boy, another positive game for this offense, and this quarterback continues to show how dangerous he is when he has time to throw. The defensive coordinator's got to change up his looks, maybe bring in the blitz, anything they can do to get this quarterback out of this rhythm. Well, no surprise here. They're already two for two on fourth down. Got to make it three for three here. They're going to run it. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? Here's the snap. Looking to throw here. Scrambling. Now he'll make the throw. So it's still early, but this offense beginning to build momentum and build the lead now. And as we've seen over the years, Chris, good teams know how to use the first quarter to establish the lead, the second quarter to increase the lead, and the final half just to hold on to it. They're following that blueprint perfectly, widening the distance between them and their opponent before we even get to the locker rooms. Now here comes the point after attempt. Extra point makes it a 17-point game. Now they get set to kick it away. And so it'll be a touchback. Ball spotted at the 25. And the Tulane offense is back out on the field now. They're in a hole here before they have a chance to regroup at halftime. Let's see if they can cut into this big lead. 
physical defending. That one falls incomplete and brings up second down. Chris, I thought he had his hands on that football. I thought he was going to come down with it. But give the defense all the credit with a big hit to knock that ball loose. Good throw to the left. It's caught downfield. It'll be enough for a first down brought down at the 43. Timeout is called to talk strategy late in this close game with halftime approaching. First down and 10. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun, looking for a receiver. Looking right, this one caught. That's a big game. The offense is threatening now. Spot the ball at the 22. Big chunk play. This offense operating at peak efficiency. And the offense will now quickly spend a timeout. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? From the shotgun, drops back, looking for an open man. He's picked for a third time tonight. Not much on the return, but the defense comes up with a takeaway. He didn't really seem to feel like he had anybody open. He just puts it up in the air, and the defense says, thank you, we'll take it. So here we go. The first play of the drive, less than a minute to play before halftime. First down, looking to throw the football. Quick completion to the tight end. To get him down quickly, not much of a gain on that completion. That completion makes it second and medium. And he'll set up to throw. And it's incomplete and a very quick throw. What a rough first half for this quarterback. Already he's thrown one pick. His mechanics are off. His footwork doesn't seem to be in sync. He almost threw another interception. He's got to make some adjustments. Lofting it toward the left sideline. Deep ball is caught for a huge gain here. And he breaks loose down the left side. It's a foot race. Well, that's a well-oiled machine right there. Everyone on this offense has been a star in their roles. And when they're rolling like this, it results in quick and positive results. And they'll set up for the PAT. The extra point is good, and they stretch the lead a little bit more. So an important touchdown just before halftime. Not much time for the opposing offense to try to answer before the break. And it's fielded. Returner trying to create a big play here. And the coverage team ends him in and brings it down. So the offense takes the field in the final seconds of a half. Chance for just a couple more plays. Ball handed off. And they make the stop to get the ball carrier down. And then it's going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it now to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. Thanks, Chris. The magnitude and intensity of these playoff matchups is always something special to be a part of. And if you thought that was a quick first half, you'd be right on the money. An offensive showcase, yes, but it's been those dynamic running backs who have set the pace. I'm curious to find out if this ground and pound approach is going to continue into the second half or if one of those defenses will actually show some pride. Chris, let's send things back to you and Kirk for what should be a memorable second half as we eagerly anticipate we'll be moving on to the next round of this college football playoff. going to bring this out from a couple yards deep in the end zone. Tackle at the 13. Not great field position to start the drop. And here comes the green wave offense back on the field. Here's the first play of the drive. They'll set up from the 13. Linebackers moving around trying to confuse the offense. 
Off the play fake on first down. Looks downfield and connects with a wide open wide receiver. Brought down to the 28, and that's good enough for a first down. A new set of downs after that completion. Hand off to the back. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. But the back just had nowhere to go. How about the defensive line? They eat up all the blocks up front, freeing those linebackers up to be able to make the play. Just a bad play all around for this offense. Looking to pass here on second down. Nowhere to go here, and the ball is knocked loose. It's a turnover. Man, when you get into this big a game on this kind of stage in the second half and you're trailing, you just cannot afford to put the ball on the ground. The defense is attacking, trying to get the ball out. They do. Ball's on the ground, and this could be the end of the game. The offense gifted with great starting field position for this drive. And they'll keep it on the ground. Running back has the handoff. Spins away from defenders. This is such a well-designed play here, Chris. The offensive line opens things up initially. And you can see the speed of the back and the effort by the receivers not to be selfish. These guys are blocking downfield. That's why he got that ball to the end zone. to try the extra point. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. Kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. And the return starts just inside the end zone. And they stop him at the 11. Not good field position to start the drive. The Tulane offense is back out on the field now. The last possession ended in a fumble, and that set up a touchdown. So they got to bounce back from that right away. Let's it go quickly. Another interception. Wow, that's his fourth tonight. Run down after a short return at the 24. What a crucial taking over. Well, this defense has been great the entire football game here. They knew they had a lot of pressure on them in the playoff. They stepped up and played well all game long, and now they get a critical interception here late in this game. And he'll loft it to the end zone. Oh, and it's batted down by the defense. Great play to deny a touchdown. Chris, that ball's tipped up into the air, and it's anybody's football. The defense, first of all, does a great job of anticipating a throw down in the red zone, and they're in great position to knock that ball up. But it was exciting to see would anybody come up with it once it was in the air. They don't want to waste this good field position, but it's third down and long. And he's going to fling it deep, going for it all here. Well, Kirk, this quarterback told us, this is my time to show. And he has gone out and backed that up so far. Yeah, he's done everything that's been asked of him and more. Just a great job of getting into a rhythm. Really tough to defend. Right now, the defensive coordinator, you can see him down there. He's throwing his headset. He's frustrated. He's got to come up with some new wrinkles to try to slow this guy down. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. And he'll just take a knee. Drive will start at the 25-yard line. And here comes the Green Wave offense back on the field. Let's see how this quarterback responds. Remember, an interception on the very first play of the last possession. Pressure is coming. And a sophomore making an impact play. And just like that, you squeeze the life out of this offense. That's another sack by this defense. They have been in that backfield the entire game and a big reason why these guys are enjoying a lead. in the play sets up second and long from the 18. Play action fake looking to throw. Let's it fly to the wide out. And that is interception number five as the nightmare performance continues. Not a long return, but the pick changes possession. The offense will take over at the 28. 
boy, would this quarterback love to have this one back. They're trying to work themselves back into this game here in the second half. And it, here's a shot toward the end zone. Oh, and it's batted down by the defense. Great play to deny a touchdown. Boy, that was beautiful. Man, this defensive back, he's putting on a clinic today on how to defend against the deep ball and man coverage without committing a penalty. I'm sure the secondary coach is very proud of that execution. How regressive do you get on first and ten? Looks like a man is down on the field after the last play, so we'll take a timeout. First down, looking to throw the ball. Well, no surprise from offense this good. Short field, quick touchdown. Yeah, you get into the red zone, though, there's a tendency to want to get conservative. I love that the offensive coordinator and the quarterback kept attacking until they came away with seven points. They'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. The extra point is good, and they stretch the lead a little bit more. Kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. Doesn't bring the kick out. Touchback. They'll start at the 25. The Mitchell Lane offense is back out on the field now. This drive is important. Last one ended in an interception. Let's see if they can get it going here. Keeping it on the ground here. Boy, positive yards there on first and ten. Good job up front by that offensive line. Good hard running by this running back. And now you got a lot of options. That playbook can really open up on second inches. Breaks loose at the 45. Tackle is made. First down of the 47. Ooh, how about that offensive line? That's just getting a hat on a hat, opening just enough room for the back to be able to get through there for a big game. And they'll try to pick it up on the ground. Breaks the tackle to get back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. That's a great play all around by this defense. Your first level defenders hold their own at the point of attack, allowing the second and third level players to roam free and make the tackle close to the line of scrimmage. Quick throw, testing the middle. Oh, and he dropped it. You do not see that very often from this guy. It's going to bring up third down. We come to the line, a long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. On third down, he drops to throw. And he's got his man open downfield. And that game will pick up a first down and move the football to the 36. A new set of downs after that completion. They'll run it to the right side. In the clear at the 25. They could not stop him. He's in. Touchdown, Green Wave. Game-breaking speed for the running back to reach the end zone. That is just priceless for an offense. Chris, that back was able to find that crease in the defense. Let's give credit to the big fellas up front for creating that crease. They all played a key role in that score. He'll return it from inside the 10-yard line. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. Here's the first play of the drive now to begin at the 19. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Let's it go. Makes the catch downfield. Tackled at the 40. That'll earn a fresh set of downs. Game moves the ball to the 40. It'll be first down. From the shotgun now, here's a handoff inside. See, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front of the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. It's really solid defense on that play. Cut quickly. They bring down the receiver, but that's a nice gain on that play. Offense trying to move into scoring position if they can convert third and short here from the 50. Can they pick up the first on the ground? Brought down to the 47, and that will move the sticks. 
Well, they continue to play good football up front. Nice run, nice conversion here, and most importantly, working with that lead. You keep working that clock. You're trying to advance to that next round of postseason. Really solid first down gain. He's just short of the marker, so maybe a chance here to take a downfield shot. Clear movement before the snap, and it'll be a false start. False start, false start offense. offense. Pretty easy call for the head coach. He will accept that penalty, of course. Backfield is empty here for second and inches. Freedom. Freedom. From the gun, he looks for an open man. Quarterback delivers complete to the right side. We stop him at the 23. This offense is getting close to the red zone. Offense set for the sixth play in this drive. On first and ten, looking to throw. And he finds a wide open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. Doesn't quite get in, but it sets up a first and goal for this offense. The offense in scoring position with a new set of downs. On the ground, trying to muscle it across the line. I think we're starting to kind of see a theme here, Chris, today. That's his second touchdown. The offensive line doing their job, and he's doing an outstanding job of just reading the defense, finding the hole, and being able to pick up big yards and touchdowns. He's going to bring this out a few yards deep in the end zone. He'll be stopped short of the 20-yard line. Good job of the coverage team. And here comes the green wave offense back on the field. Last drive, the ground game was so successful. Ended in a touchdown. We'll see if the defense can respond to it this time. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. The first and 10 play coming up for the offense. Tailback with another carry. It's a two yard gain, second and eight. Defense does a really nice job here to be able to contain that run game, help just get two yards. This, to me, this changes the playbook a little bit now for the offense. The guy calling the plays at second and eight, that's a different deal. Now he's got him probably thinking about going through the air instead of staying on the ground. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. This one's going to fall incomplete. Brings up fourth down. Special teams on the field now. Here comes a punt. And he'll kick it away now for the second time. We'll see if he can make a play on this return. And the returner is tackled by this punt coverage team. Final play before the end of the quarter. On first down, it's play action. He's running out of time here. And it's picked off. He throws it right into double coverage and pays for it. For the takeaway, a big play by the defense to end this quarter. getting set to run a first down play. Look at out throwing here to start the drive. And that's incomplete, even on a first down pass attempt. He felt heavy pressure. Well, these guys just continue to struggle throwing the football. You know, whether it's been running the wrong route, the quarterback not being accurate, the offensive line not doing... And he'll loft it to the end zone. And it's picked off in the end zone. Well, that interception really about cost him the game here. And I understand. you got to do everything you can to get back in it, down by a couple scores. But the interception, for the most part, seals the deal for the defense. They make the stop, but not before a solid game that time. This line getting set up. It's a first-down play. A handoff from the shotgun. That's a nasty move. Now he's got room to run. 
It's a big gain all the way to enemy territory, tackled at the 45. There's nothing more that helps an offense than committing to that running game and popping an explosive run like this on the ground. Keeps the confidence of your offensive lineup. Same with your back. It helps everything else that you're doing as an offense in the rhythm. Now you can come back with some counters, try to take some shots off of play action, and keep hammering away with that run game. To the air, it's Shaw. And he's going to fling it deep, going for it all here. That's another touchdown for these guys. And they have had a day that you dream about. Whether it's the quarterback, the running back, the receivers, the offensive line, the entire unit has been dominant. Point after, knocked right through. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. And he'll bring it out from inside the 10. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. And the Tulane offense is back out on the field now. The last possession ended in an interception. Let's see if they continue to trust this quarterback in the passing game. Defense is coming after him. And he's hit right as he throws it. Second down after that previous play. Linebackers may be trying to confuse the line with some movement. And he's back to throw again on second and ten. Oh, that one's picked off. Runner with an impressive spin move there. some clock here keeping it on the ground they bring him down to the 25 they're moving closer and closer to the red zone you know i'd say this run is pretty emblematic of what we've seen all day long no matter what they've done on offense the guys up front have controlled the line of scrimmage they've given a quarterback time to throw they've been able to run really whatever they wanted to that's why the points are going up on the board right now the psyche this offense is we're in control, and we can do whatever we want whenever we feel like doing it. It's incomplete. That was caused by the defensive pressure, and now it brings up third down. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. Can't hold on. Good defensive play. Brings up a fourth down. Coach electing to go for a field goal attempt. He was successful last time out. This attempt is from 42 yards away. The kick is good. Gives the offense three points to show for that drive. And they add to the lead. After adding three more points to the lead, they're set to kick it off. Return starts from inside the five. They'll be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And here comes the Green Wave offense back on the field. This drive is important. Last one ended in an interception. Let's see if they can get it going here. Looks downfield and finds a receiver who worked his way wide open. They bring him down, but the drive has now reached the 35. So quickly up to the 35-yard line for a first down. Drops back from the shotgun, looking for an open man. Trying to get the throw off. And he just throws that one away. Took a big shot, but avoids the sack. Second down play coming up. From the shotgun, drops back. Quarterback escapes the pocket and takes off. He's found some room at the 45. The freshman QB shows his toughness, picks up the first down himself. Boy, this guy can do it all. We know what he can do with his arm, but when things aren't there, does a good job of pulling it down, knowing where the first down marker is, picking up the first down. The tight end has got it. He's tackled quickly, but the yardage is good enough for the first down. The defense with more pre-snap movement. And looking to throw now on first down. He's moving out of the pocket now. Get some space on the 30. And they get him down, but that's a solid game here to move the sticks using his feet. You set it down for the offense, first and 10. 
And he drops back in the gun. Fires it to the wide end. He makes the grab. It's a quick tackle. Spot the ball at the 11 and a red zone opportunity now. We reach the two-minute warning here. This offense needing to score and then get the football back. How aggressive will they be on this first down play? And the quarterback dropping back. Catch made on the sideline, but they get nothing out of it. Defense shoves him out of bounds. Not much of a gain there. Coming to the line on second down. This is important. They want to avoid a third and long. There's the snap. Looking to throw the ball. Sales are way high out of the end zone and incomplete. How about the defense today? They have played so well. I think the defensive coordinator put together a great plan. His kids clearly understood their scheme because they have been aggressive and attacking all game long. And it's caught. Touchdown to Lane. Well, first of all, I'm impressed that the user has not turned the game off and reset and planned it to the final whistle. And the offense is following your lead by playing hard and gaining some confidence for next week. You're not going to win this game, but I'll tell you what, you're a trooper. Here's the kickoff team now, set to boot this one away. Fields it just outside the goal line. He's got an opening. Watch out. He's got great speed. Just able to stop him, but it's a great return. Lucky to prevent a touchdown. But they get in the drive in excellent field position. Here comes the offense, hoping to get a drive going. Great performance by this home team. There's going to be a serious party around here tonight. And the freshman brings him down quickly. You know, in the era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense is countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of the defense. Has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage, not give up big run plays. Hand off to the back. They'll keep the clock moving. He's tackled inside the 35, picks up a first down. Love to see this with a lead late in the game, in the postseason. You got to trust your offensive line in your back. Not only do you keep the clock moving, you pick up a first down. Now you got a chance to ice this game. Catch made along the sideline, but he's short of the sticks. And the runner scoots out of bounds after gaining some decent yardage. Getting set. Here's second down. He'll hand it off. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, they run it right into a blitz, and that linebacker was coming downhill, Kirk. Man, what a time to call that blitz here by the defensive coordinator. And you're right, he shoots right through that A-gap. Really, the back had nowhere to go. By the time he got the ball in his hands, the linebacker's right in his face. So the decision is to not go for it, but settle for three. Here comes the field goal team. This try is no good. A misfire there, but this has been a thoroughly dominating performance. And the Tulane offense is back out on the field now. Here comes a first down pass attempt. They need a couple miracles here in the final two minutes to rescue what's been a very, very rough outing so far. That completion makes it second and medium. They snap it. Quarterback looking to throw the ball. And with nobody open, he chooses to just throw it away. After the incompletion, they'll line up now for a third and five. Secondary up now, trying to jam these receivers. Quarterback in the shotgun here on third down. It's a quick grab. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. First down here for this offense. First down for the offense. Here's the snap, looking to throw. Caught over the middle. He's brought down, but a solid game moves the ball across midfield of the 41. Well, you can tell the quarterback knew exactly what he wanted to do with the football. He was going to that end route no matter what. He hits it for a nice game. Looking to throw it on first down. The pocket breaking down. And it'll be smothered right at the line for no game. Defense loading up on defensive backs here, wanting to take away the deep pass play. Now a timeout is taken with just five seconds remaining. Offense getting set, second down play here. There's the snap, they'll set up to throw. Here's a shot toward the end zone. 
And that will be incomplete, trying for a consolation touchdown, but it's no good, and time expires on the game. Of course, in the playoffs, it's survive and advance. This is a crucial W. Great performance, but now the stage gets even bigger. The challenges will continue going forward. Yeah, more and more pressure will grow as this team continues to win football games. But you and I have been around this team all year long. So impressed with the emotions and how they're able to contain themselves, stay focused on the task at hand. They did that again today. They advance. Cannot wait to watch and see what they can do next week. And that is going to wrap it up. We can this one here. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.